come out with the drill that we need. And just for the sake of argument, I'm just turning it away because right now we have a selection here for 26 grams at one inch and saying 320 thousandths. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and say that's too wide. I'm going to call for a three quarter drill because that's what I mounted. Now you see it wants me to drill 590 thousandths. Now I'm going to pull back, get into our hole here. Alright, we're going to come down, we're going to zero out. Back off, start up. We're actually going to stop, we're going to protect this bearing with a rag. There we go. short drill so that we know we can see what kind of material we're taking off. I'm going to stop here at about 300. Release the lock. Come over. Go to our other position. Just for the sake of argument, we'll lock up. Put it out of the paper towel. Lay it in place. Zero. We're going to go down here about 300 thousandths also. Me, let all the chips fall away. I'm going to move the drill off site. Now, there's nothing here that can hit, so we're fairly good. If you're uncomfortable with that, just move it, break it loose, take your drill out. But remember to lock it. What we're going to do now is we're going to requalify this by spinning it. And what we're expecting here is a certain amount of stock removal. Now, all I did was just quickly rough it in. We could have gone right for the gusto here, but let's go ahead and just see how you can incrementally work your way down. All right, now, on the left side, we got 13.6. On the right side, we still have 19 grams to go. But you'll notice when I come back up to TDC, it's right in position. So I purposely short drilled. Now, what was different? This one, I didn't use DPC. The other side, I don't know if you noticed, but I did use DPC. On this one, I had less material come out because I only removed the minimal amount because of the drill point angle. But at this point, both sides now have a drill point, so I can pretty well trust these numbers. So I'm going to come back with my three-quarter. Center lock. Put my paper towel down there. Now, what I've got here is it's telling me with a one inch drill, let's go, we are seven three quarter, there we go, 420 thousandths. So we'll go ahead, just for the sake of arguing, we'll take it down 300 more, and we're just going to safely sneak in there so you can see how incremental drilling will let you sneak up on the work part. All right, I'm going to zero, back off, start. Again, it's going to start right there. I'm just going to go down after it for about 300,000. Drill. Reposition. Put 
crank up to me, let the debris fall away. Now normally we would just move on over and do the other side, but I want to show you what happens if you drill just one side by itself. So again, as a safety issue, I've checked, make sure there's no obstructions. Remember we're 19 here, 13 there. So here we go. Just as a footnote, if there's anything that's ever wrong, the reason this operator stays on this side, there's an e-stop located right here. That's the panic switch. Just hit it and it'll basically disengage everything, turn the motor off, shuts all power, but the computer will stay active. Alright, now, what's important about this is I'm trying to show you the advantage of three-plane balancing. If you remember the last time on the left side it was 13.66, right now it's 13.64. Two hundredths of a difference. Over here we went from 19 down to 4. All right? We made a 15 gram change without seeing a change on that side. Competition machinery basically gets this part confused because a two plane balancer assumes that these two are working in harmony when in fact there are two individual planes but the third plane analysis allows us to totally separate these two. Now, again, being redundant, if you had done that on any other machine, you would have seen a radical change on this side. It would have gone up or down. I can't tell you which one at the moment. But right now I am telling you that we made a change. It basically recorded the amount without affecting the other side. All right. What we're ready for now is, and I want you to take notice of one thing. It's flashing, or was flashing, balance the tolerance, because we set up a tolerance here of 1.5. If this was a grocery getter that General Motors or Ford was doing, quite frankly, it would be done. Well, I'm going to change that to 0.5. Now, its mission here is, and we're already there on the right side, we're at 0.4, I got to go from 1.44 down to 0.5. So I'm going to grab my three-quarter. i to protect my main bearing. I'm going to rotate up to the TDC. going to move over into position. And what it's saying is 290,000. So what we'll do is we'll come right over here, get up on our TDC position, we'll lock it. Yes, the machine will allow you to do it, but it's a form of entertainment. Balance the tolerance, 0 0.44, 0 0.48. This job is ready to go out the door.